welcome to my channel right now I want to talk about I want to introduce you to forex trading so what is forex trading uh, forex trading is the process of buying one currency and selling the other at the same time buying of one currency and selling the other at the same time that is forex trading in a simple time by uh, simple introduction now the forex market is all about price movements what we trade in the forex is the price movement and the price can either move up or down with respect to time okay the price moves with time there are other forces that you know engender the movement of price but basically it is a price that forex trading is all about and price can either move up or down with respect to time okay now if the price is moving up buyers make money while sellers lose money conversely if the price is moving downwards sellers make money while buyers lose money okay so that means we have two players in the market that's the sellers and the buyers at the same time Okay, they are always present at the same time. There are two opposing forces that you know control the market. Now, the financial instruments that will trade in the first market are currency pairs like uh, Euro USD. That's Euro USD. This is uh, European currency. Why this is US dollar, and this is great british pound sterling and us dollar so this is great british pound sterling and us dollar okay this is us dollar and then japanese yen why this is us dollar versus canadian dollar right you can see each pair consists of two currencies of different nations right two currencies of different nations combined together to form what we call currency pair this is just an introduction we have different categories of you know currency pairs we have the majors we have the minors we have the crosses but for now let's just focus on this introduction okay for example if we buy euro usd we buy this pair it means that we buy euro that means we buy the first currency and sell the second currency if we are buying this pair it simply means technically that we are buying the first currency and selling the second currency so it means that we buy euro and sell us dollar similarly if we sell euro usd it means we are selling the first currency this is the base currency and selling the second currency which is the quote currency the first currency is the base currency the second is the quote currency so, so that means we are we are selling this pair we are selling the euro which is the first currency in this pair and then buying the us dollar which is the second currency in this pair so it means we sell euro and buy usd at the same time okay now let's go further for example if we buy euro usd at this price 1.2244 let's say we are buying this pair at this price and we find that it rises to 1.2344 okay it rose from 22.44 to 23.44 it means we have a gain of 100 pips 100 pips gain since we buy and the price rose that's a gain for us that's a gain for us similarly if we sell euro usd at 1.2522 and it falls to 1.2122 that is it falls from 25 22 to 21 22 
from 25 22 down to 21 22 it means we have a gain of 400 pips 522 minus 122 is 400 522 minus 122 that's 400 so that means we have a gain of 400 pips 400 pips so we call it a gain call it profit because we have sold we are sellers and you know sellers make money when price falls remember that buyers make money only when price rises above their enterprise and sellers make money only when price falls below their enterprise okay simply put again we have to we have talked about 100 pips 400 pips i have to explain what we mean by pips pips determine the size of our profits so the number of pips that we make would determine the profit that we make at the end of the day at the same time the value of pips the value of pips also depend on the lot size the size of the lot that we are trading at a particular time okay uh, for example if we are trading using using euro usd on a standard account 100 pips at 0 0.1 lot will be 100 dollar 100 pips at 0 0.5 lot will be what 500 dollar because this means five dollar per pip why this one means one dollar per pip but if we are not trading 100 uh, sorry if you make 100 pips at one standard lot is going to be equal to one thousand dollar okay profit so what does that mean when you see you are trading one standard lot it means you are trading ten dollar per a single peep so when you multiply ten dollar by 100 peeps it's going to be one thousand dollar so that is it so you think in terms of peeps and you should know the value of your peep according to the size of the loss that you are trading right uh thanks for watching i hope you have understood forex to an extent based on this video and i'd like you to subscribe to my channel for uh better correspondence in the future and then please leave your comment if you have any in the comment section or you can write to me using my email all right please check the description page of this video for some stores that i personally recommend for my followers once again thank you and i appreciate you for your time i will appreciate it if you check my next video once again thank you